This video is sponsored by New Type HQ. Get everything you need to build your own custom gunplay on their website. Link in the description. Yep, they deliver even when there's a lockdown. Let's get this video started. What's up, GFAM? This is Justin from Studio G, and today I am going to show you guys on how I remove nut marks. Let's do this. Let's start the tutorial with this piece of waist armor here I got from the GM Sniper 2. I got I didn't cut off the runners from this because it's gonna be for demonstration and but first let's look at the tools that you need. First tool will be your rusty nipper. It can be any kind of nipper as long as it is a side cutter nipper. Totally recommended and as I said it can be as rusty as you want it to be. It doesn't really matter because of the trick that I'm gonna show you guys. Second tool you need would be your trusty old hobby knife. Your hobby knife, please make sure that this is as sharp as it can be. If you have like blade sets, make sure that you pick up the best blades in the bunch. Next, you will be needing sandy sticks. Uh, currently here, I have 600, 800, 1000, 1002, but it's depending on the situation, whether you're going to be using all of them or not. We have our polishing sandpaper grid. This is a grid 3000 and this one is used as the one of the last steps. Last but not least, totally recommended for you guys to get yourself a wet cloth, a microfiber wet cloth if it's possible, because this will help you to clean up the residues of your sanding dust later on. First thing first, pick up your part with your nipper, cut off, not all the way, but just leave a gap to it and just cut it off. Next one and the next one cut it off notice here you will still be getting stress marks all over the parts but you know what it doesn't really matter because right now it's time for your hobby knife with your hobby knife just make sure that the angle is as parallel as possible to your part and then after that just slowly cut through it slowly very slowly and steadily cut through it and then right now you have successfully removed most of the nut marks do the same for the other side and this one the last one as well so you have cut all the nubs away from the parts and then now you can see here i accidentally cut a little bit more than i intended to so there's a little bit of meat missing right here but it doesn't really matter because right now we're going to use our sandpaper stick and what you want to do is to sand them down according to the size of the part make sure that you don't take away the angle if you're working with 600 or more please make sure that you keep checking your parts so that you don't over sand them and then with 600 let's go through let's go over the sides the other sides as well all right once you're done with 600 move on to maybe 800 or in my case i'm gonna use 1000 straight works just as well Once you're done with 1000, you can either move on to the polishing or using 1002 to, to give you a quick sand. Last but not least, let's start polishing. So if you have a sponge like this one, or you have a normal sandpaper where it's really hard to hold on while you are doing your sanding, then you can get something like a popsicle stick with some double-sided tape as well have the foam type double-sided tape and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys quickly a trick take your double-sided tape tape it really well on your popsicle stick or any kind of stick that you have then just cut it off right here cut off the excess because i do have ex excess here but if you can find the perfect size just, just leave this step alone and once you cut it it's time to stick it on any kind of sandpaper or in my case a sanding sponge because holding on like this again i repeat it's not comfortable so let's do this align it really well with the sides so right now it's perfectly attached it's time to cut off this sandpaper or sanding sponge that you have right now i have a sanding stick that is usable on a stick so that it's easier to hold and it may not be perfect but it doesn't really matter it's time to polish up our parts right here. It 
Last but not least, use your cloth, give it a good wipe to remove all the excess sanding dust. All the nut marks are gone. It's perfectly blending with the part and you are left with a kind of perfect part. And that is how you do it. So simply put, there are numerous ways where you can remove nut marks. You can use whatever that I've just showed you guys, or you can just use your nails or any kind of thing that you can come up with. Because we humans, we always innovate and we come up with our own skill sets and tools are just there to help us they do not define us then you gotta remember so even if you don't have any expensive tools like what what i have for example my neighbor is really rusty but it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day you just gotta be more creative than having an expensive tool like god hands because by the end of the day it's all about creativity and how you tackle the problem on hand so remember this have patience and keep on building and don't be afraid to experiment 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 this is tutorial tuesday and i'll be doing this kind of videos every tuesday giving you guys tips and tricks that i've learned throughout my builds if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button beside to get notified every time i post a video this is justin signing off and i'll see you in the next one bye bye So at the end of the day, all the time, <clears throat> tools are just tools, okay? You are not a tool and you are not bad and you are definitely better than your tool, all right?